Florida's 60-day legislative session begins tomorrow, and lawmakers plan to tackle a number of issues, anything from affordable housing and immigration to a bill that would make it easier to carry a gun. They will also consider a plan to lower the bar for a death penalty sentence. News for Jax reporter Ashley Harding explains that could put the state at odds with the U.S. Supreme Court. Less than two weeks ago, Florida executed death row inmate Donald Dillbeck. It was the state's first execution in nearly four years. But under new bills filed in the Florida legislature, there could be sweeping changes to capital punishment. First, lawmakers will consider making adults convicted of sexual battery on children under 12 a crime punishable by death. The text reads, such crimes destroy the innocence of a young child and violate all standards of decency held by civilized society. Child sexual battery is horrific and terrible and should be punished. Nobody is saying it shouldn't. Maria Deliberato is a practicing attorney who spent years working capital defense litigation. She's now executive director of Floridians for alternatives to the death penalty. Deliberato says this could place an additional burden on child victims in court and more money on death row would be expensive. That's going to be more cost to the Department of Corrections. They won't be able to house everybody on one, in one facility. Union Correctional does not have the space for that, which is where the primary, primarily all the death row inmates are, are housed. In the past, both the U.S. Supreme Court and the Florida Supreme Court ruled to ban death sentences for child rapists. Now, these new proposals conflict with those rulings in the bills that will be discussed this legislative session. The lawmakers say that both the 2008 Kennedy versus Louisiana and the 1981 Buford versus state decisions were wrongly decided and an egregious infringement of the state's power to punish the most heinous of crimes. Governor Ron DeSantis is backing another possible change to how the death penalty operates, one that would lower the jury threshold. Under bills filed, a jury would no longer have to be unanimous in order to recommend death. That would change to an 8-4 to four vote. DeSantis pointed to the case of the Parkland school shooter. Three of 12 jurors voted to recommend a life sentence instead of death. Nicholas Cruz was somebody everyone knew was guilty. and He's entitled to process, but this was not anything that he, he admitted it, right? So then they go for the penalty phase and you kill 17 people. How, what other penalty can you get other than the ultimate penalty? Deliberato also points to cases where the verdicts were wrong. She says Florida leads the nation in death row exonerations. So we have 30 exonerations for 100 executions. Nearly all of those exonerations, 93%, involved non-unanimous juries or cases where the judge overrode um, a, jury, a jury's life decision. In Donald Dilbeck's case, the jury recommendation for his execution was 8-4. to four. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.